Hello everyone, Jennifer Terry here. In this video, we will register together to the new updated e-travel system. If you've been here, you know e-travel is the Philippines travel system. Everyone who will be entering the country, whether you've entered through an airplane or a boat, <laughs> you must register. Um, this is a requirement for everyone, Philippine or pass foreign passport holders. This video is for foreign passport holders, foreign tourists, former Filipinos. If you're using a foreign passport, this is for you. Now, when do we register to e-travel? So since this is entering the country, we register three days prior to our arrival in the country. But actually, it can be a bit more than that. Four days, five days before arrival. The e-travel side is kind of flexible on that part. I mentioned updated because e-travel was updated, right? If you watch our previous video. Now we have to make an account in order to register. If you have registered to e-travel last year, you can't use that same registration anymore, okay? Um, you have to make an account now and then add your travel details. So let's do that. Let's go to the website together. I'm gonna be sharing the screen on my phone. So we know the website is called etravel.gov.ph. Make no mistake, don't go to other websites because they are fake and they will scam you. <laughs> Now, once we have entered the site, as you can see, there's an option here to log in or create, or create an account. Since this is our first time, let's click that. First up is your email address. Now, this is a very important part. You must use an email that's active and accessible, okay? Because they will be sending a code to that email address. They need to verify it, okay? Our email, so let's go there, okay? Six digits. Let's put that in. You have five minutes to input that code. So five minutes is a lot of time, should be enough. Okay, the next part, we create our own password. So the password must be at least eight characters and then it must contain one uppercase or at least one lowercase. So just an example, Philippines. <laughs> Keep a password that's simple and something that you can remember. Next up, our personal information. So we put in our personal details, our first name as reflected on your passport. Your name here on e-travel and on your passport must match. And then we have our sex, female or male, birth date, mobile numbers. You can see the Philippine flag is up there. You can change it if you don't have a Philippine number. Just click the flag icon and then you can scroll down to select which country you have a mobile number of. And then citizenship, country of birth, passport number, go get your passport, occupation, what do you do, entertainer, housewife, um, professional, technical, administrative, unemployed, student. Next up is our permanent country of residence. Easy peasy, country, and then just this, yes, your street address. There you go, you have now an account. Remember your account because every time you enter the Philippines, you'll need access to it to register to e-travel. Now, if you're fa traveling with family, you can just use one account. You can add your family through the four other family members section. Since we are arriving into the country, we will select, we will select entering to the Philippines arrival. And then we click continue. Once we click continue, that shows that we agree to the date of privacy and affidavit of undertaking. Now let's go to our travel details. What is our purpose of travel? Okay, holiday, pleasure, visiting family or friends, convention, conference, government, up to you. But most of us will go with holiday, pleasure, or vacation, traveler type, most of us, aircraft passenger, country of origin. For this video, it's the US. Destination upon arrival in the Philippines. Where are you gonna be staying for the most of your, you know, stay in the Philippines? Is it gonna be with your own house, with families or friends, residents, or in a hotel or resort, or are you just merely transiting in the country? As this is a video for foreign nationals, I know most of you will be staying in a hotel or resort, so let's click that. For hotel or resort, you can just type it in or you can use the search box. If you use the search box, it will automatically um, know, show the address of that hotel or resort. But it's understandable that not all hotels or resorts will be on this um, search box list. It will not show up. So uh, I would say just, if you can just type it, I think it would be easier. 
Next up, we have date of return. If you have a date of return, just put it there. Now, Jennifer, what if I have a, a plane ticket that's more than 30 days? I'm planning on staying six months. Can I honestly answer my, put my date of return there? Of course. If it's more than 30 days and they ask, just say you will extend your stay at the Bureau of Immigration Office. Name of airline, so use the flight. If you're flying with multiple airlines, use uh, put the one that you'll be flying with that's landing in the Philippines. And then flight number for this video, I'll be flying with Philippine Airlines coming from Los Angeles, landing in Manila. So it's PR 103, it should be on your itinerary, easy. And then airport of arrival will automatically show. Seat or bed number is optional, you can leave it blank, up to you. Next up, we have health declaration. Um, we all know COVID stuff doesn't, it's, it's irrelevant. Um, you don't need to declare your vaccination status or a test, whatever. But they would still be asking in which country have you worked or visited or transited in the last 30 days. If it's merely a layover, you didn't get outside or airport, you don't need to put it there. Have you had any history of exposure to a person who is sick or known to have communicable infectious disease in the past 30 days? Yes or no? Have you been sick in the past 30 days? That's a very broad question. Yes or no? But if you answer yes, you'll have to add your symptoms. But okay, Philippines. Yes or no? And that's it. Personal information, permanent country of residence, travel details, flight information and health declaration. Expect that once you land in the Philippines, immigration will be a breeze. You will only have to show your passport. Now you have your QR code, you don't need to show this. As soon as they scan your passport, they will know instantly that, hey, it will show in the system this person has registered, this person has not registered. If you have not registered, you will be sent on a corner and be asked to register. You can't skip e-travel, okay? So that is all guys. You can see at the bottom that there is an option for customs online declaration form. That is optional. If you were to ask me, I do not recommend to do it online. It's kind of complicated. And yeah, I'd rather do the paper form upon arrival. They might distribute it during the flight or upon arrival in the country. Very easy to fill out. No worries. There's also a note here also about currency declaration form. So how much money do you have to declare? If you're carrying more than 10,000 US dollars or it's foreign equivalent, you'll have to declare it. They will ask, what's the purpose of this money? Where, um, where is this coming from? That's it. If it's in, in the form of cash, um, bank checks, drops, if your travel plans have changed or if you've made a mistake in answering one of the questions, you can go back to the website and click edit. Once you have your QR code, just save a copy of that, a screenshot, a photo on your phone. They will not ask for it, but it's, it's good to have a proof that you have registered. Just in case, say, the people at the check-in counter ask you. If, let's say, you want to register in advance prior to your trip, yes, you can make your account. But you have to go back within three days before your arrival to register, okay? Making an account in advance, no worries. But registering, you have to do that within three days prior to your arrival or departure. And um, that is all for this video. If this was helpful, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so. God bless you all and let me know how your trip to the Philippines went. Bye!